You're inside of Chicago's Fashion Week 2018. You're watching Girl Version. Don't forget to subscribe. Today is the final day of Chicago's Fashion Week, and it has been absolutely amazing, exhilarating, exciting, all of those fun things. And I could not let this week get by without talking to the beautiful and talented Beth with Foam As Handbags. You all have no idea, but maybe you do have an idea. Look at these bags, they are so amazing. She literally transformed the bag from a shoulder bag to a handbag one second before we went on camera. I literally love this bag and it happens to match everything I have on. 100%. 100%, and this is my favorite color. So I was like, where's the purple bag? Beth, can you please tell us where this beautiful and creative idea came from? How did this happen? So I've always loved music. And I've always loved fashion. So this is a perfect fusion of the two. So I got together with um, a branding agent a number of years ago and had some, we're just rolling ideas and he was building a recording studio at the time. Wow. So show me, he's like, did you know foam can be in different colors and it can come in different patterns or maybe you can hook up with a foam manufacturer and make custom patterns. And so yeah, I had no idea. And then literally from there, um, made a sample, couple samples, until I can really get it to where I wanted it. Probably went through about five or six samples at a manufacturer in Chicago. Wow. They are Chicago made. Wonderful. Um, and then peeped some online and caught the attention of Paris Fashion Week to debut them. And then um, made three appearances in British Vogue. And then all kind of spiraled from there. And then linked up with Tony Long at a fashion show he was producing for a friend of mine. Okay. Um, her daughter, they were doing a Make-A-Wish um, fashion show up north. And we met, and it was just, you know, instant. Uh, instant. Yeah. And now just very involved with Fashion Bar. We're both involved in Fashion Week together, really working with the city, trying to bring an official city-backed Fashion Week to Chicago. We deserve it. Um, and it's really just kind of... This has really just now become like a vehicle to just get on this ride and see where it takes us. <laughs> it is absolutely amazing. I I saw all of the models yesterday with their different bags. There are different versions. There are handbags. They're in different shapes. They have um, book bags and satchels. A clutch, crossbody. And then a lot of them, like this one in particular, you can remove this entirely and it can be a clutch. You can undo the chains and make it a crossbody. You can wear it over your shoulder. I just think things that are multifunctional usually. Yeah. So, And that's very helpful because you know how we are. We just sometimes don't know what we want to do or how we want to carry it. And who wants sometimes to? I want my hands free. Yeah. Sometimes I want, you know, something to hold. It just depends. Yeah. And sometimes it's like, I don't know what I want because I don't know what I'm wearing and what's going to look right. And this is amazing. But clearly you like something unique. I clearly don't like, you know, you, you don't like to blend in. You like to stand out in a crowd, right, Sharita? So, I mean, and that's what they do. They really do. They just kind of, there's something just very different. There's nothing like them on the market. Um, they're patented, and they're made here. <laughs> and, you know, um, my next question is your, the bag that meant the most to you, maybe when you were creating, which one, which one is it that was just like, I know you pour your heart and soul to each one, but which one do you have a, a connection with? Like, so, so nobody's really asked me that, and I love that you asked me that because it's very easy for me to answer, and I don't know why I keep snapping. Um, <laughs> but I had made uh, that bag originally. I had made it with green vinyl and pink foam, and I named it after my mom who passed. My mom had breast cancer. She also passed from liver cancer. So both colors applied to her. And I made that one, and that's the one that I got in Vogue 100, which actually, that was our number one selling issue of the run of the magazine. It's the first one that they put um, on the cover they did. The Duchess was on the cover. Kate Middleton was on that cover. So the most sought after magazine, and I was like, I could die a happy girl right now. I got my mommy's name in Vogue 100, and I wound up not even going to production with that one. I just wanted just one of that, just for me. And then that's just like it, but with different colors. Okay, and so 
if people want to order some or order one and they have their a specific idea or if it's something on their own, can you create that? Or do you put out your creations with you and your team and then people choose from there? Do they choose the color of the foam? Like, how does that work? So I've tried the custom route. Okay. Um, it's just not so easy. Okay. Um, so, and I, but what I am doing is doing limited runs, like very short production because I don't want everybody to have the same bag. And I do have a number of ideas at all times that I want to get to the next idea. Okay. So um, at least that way, too, you'll know that, like, you know, a thousand people aren't going to have the same handbag as you. I like keeping it unique. So I'm just doing small runs. Cool. Special edition, huh? Yeah. Special edition. Okay. Today, what can we expect on the runway? I know that I've seen some different things this week, and I'm just super excited about what we're going to see later on. But the fact that you've connected music, I love music. I teach Zumba, so dance and music are right up my alley. So this is everything, yes. So um, I just love the meaning of it. And what are we going to see today? So today, obviously, the biggest thing we're going to see today are some freaking amazing models, yes. right? Yes. Models that we should see on the runway much more often. <laughs> and hopefully we'll now start to see much more often. Um, Angela Wang, I know, is doing a collection. She's incredible, just really innovative, really clean lines, um, beautiful work. And then she's pairing some of my bags with her stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be exciting. If there's something that you can share with our audience or your new fans, because I know you're going to have new fans and followers and people that want to get in touch to find out how to get these, what's something that you would share with them as far as something from Beth? What would that be? I just say if you want to do something, just do it. I, I've only been doing this for two years. I'm 46. I did not, you know, go to design school, and I have not been dreaming of this since I've been a little girl. This was completely unforeseen and unplanned, but it is something that has given me purpose and a new happy. And so it, there, it's never too late. Like, if you know what I mean? There, it's never too late to try something. What's the worst thing that happens? So I say if you want to do it, do it. That's all. I love that. She said the new happy. I love that. I love inspiration, encouragement, the new happy. So we're going to make sure we get our new happy. But can you please tell everyone how to get in contact with you, your social media um, handles, uh, website, phone number, whatever you'd like to give out? Cool. Everything's under FOMAZ, P-H-O-M-A-Z, kind of like a play on words, foam as handbags, and then foam as whatever the next thing will be. Um, so FOMAS.com is my site. Then I'm on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all that good stuff. So FOMAS everything. FOMAS everything. You all, make sure you get a bag or a book bag or a satchel or a crossover because it can serve many purposes. It is coming out of production this week, and I do have one of the samples coming down the runway today. So that I'm pretty stoked about, yes. Okay. That's the backpack. It's a mini backpack. Okay. You know we stuff everything in those bags. And every time we get one, we're like, nope, I'm going to keep this one clean, and I'm not going to. And then we just end up stuffing everything in there. So foam mats. And it seems it is very durable. When I tell you all, this bag is um, it's, it, it's made with great quality. I can tell. Thank you. Yeah. They are. They're well made. Thank you. So there you have it, foam as handbags with Beth. And we are here, again, the final day of Fashion Week. And we couldn't be more excited. So make sure you tune in. Make sure you start supporting next year because we want to come back bigger and better. Get your life with Girl Version. And I'm your host, Shartia Devine.
Hello, everyone. We are here on the final day of Chicago's Fashion Week. And let me say, it has been a week, hasn't it? Well, we have Freddie here with Howard Brown Health. And I want him to tell you, us, and everyone here about the organization that he's connected with. All right, well, Howard Brown is an organization for LGBTQIA people. Um, we specifically do health care for LGBTQIA people, and we're the leading one in the nation. Um, right where I work at, I work for Broadway Youth Center, which is a program for homeless and transient youth um, under the age of 24. We specifically work on a grant funded from the CDC to service um, trans and gender nonconforming people of color and their partners up to the age of 29. Um, we offer health, full health care, um, we offer education services, GD services, vocational services. We help people get into college. Um, we do housing. Um, we do a lot of um, resource advocacy. Um, we have a drop-in center. We offer three meals a day, and we offer a lot of programming, resume building, and things like that. <laughs> that is amazing. Can you tell us the ages? I know you said youth, but is there a particular age group that you work with? The Broadway Youth Center, at the Broadway Youth Center, we focus on people from 12 to 24, but our program specifically helps trans and gender nonconforming people up to the age of 29. But Howard Brown as a whole, um, we see all ages, um, all genders of people, too, as well. And our services um, are, if you don't have insurance, it doesn't matter. We, we service everybody there. And also, we have a sliding fee skill. Sometimes the services are free. <laughs> Can you let us know which communities that you're currently in or are willing to reach out to? Um, we Right now, we have 10 locations. Um, we just opened up a location on 63rd, 63rd and Low um, in Inglewood. We have another one in Hyde Park on 55th and Lake Lake. I believe it's called. Okay. And then we have um, a location on North Sheridan Road, one on um, Broadway and Irving Park. We have another one on Halstead and Belmont, and then we have one in Rogers Park. <laughs> That's amazing, and, and I haven't heard of it yet, so I'm really excited to hear this and to be able to get this information out to those who may need those resources. Can you tell us a little bit about the connection that you have as far as your passion and, and kind of your why as to why it means so much to you to remain connected to this organization? Um, I love the organization because they reached out to communities that really that are really underserved, pretty much. And since I'm LGBTQ, since I am um, gender queer, gender nonconforming, um, it's this place that I can come and I feel safe and I feel at home and don't have to worry about like going to the doctor and the doctor misgendering you and things like that. So this place is like specifically for trans people. Um, we help trans people in all aspects with gender name changes, gender marker changes. Um, we help do referrals out for um, SRS surgery, um, implants. Um, Top surgery, bottom surgery for trans, uh, trans masculine people as well. So I just like I just just love what the, the organization organization stands for. It's like giving back to my community. <laughs> wow, amazing! And how long has it been around? Howard Brown has been around for a long time. I think probably about like the 90s or something like that. They've been around for a while. Yeah, they started off really small. They had one location on Sheridan and Irving Park, and now we've extended to the 10 locations over the last three years. And we're about to open up a location in Humble Park as well in, in October. Yes, I saw one um, in Inglewood as well. I saw one in that area. So I know several people that are from there, actually, just in general. Can you please give our audience and your new followers or fans or anyone that might need that assistance because... One thing that is definitely not a secret is that it's it's not always easy um, to speak up or to seek that type of help or those resources. So can you tell everyone how to get in contact with this organization or you? So any um, social media outlets or the website or phone number, can you share that? Oh, yeah, of course. So you can, if you want to go online, you can go to www.howardbrown.org backslash BYC. Also, you can find us at 773-388-1600. That's the main number for all the locations. But if you specifically want to talk to me, 773-388-1600, extension 1060. And also, you can reach us at voices at howardbrown.org. <laughs> wow. I've certainly learned a lot today, and I've had a pleasure, and just it was a joy to speak with you today, Freddie. So, again, we're wrapping up Fashion Week. We're here downtown Chicago once again, and I'm with Freddie. I'm with Girl Version. Get your life with Girl Version. I'm your host, Shartia Devine. <laughs> Don't be the show. Don't cast your eyes.
Final day of Fashion Week, and what would fashion be without having your nails properly made up? I don't know what it would be, but I'm here with Sharonda from Scratch of Sweden, and she is going to tell us more about her company. Hi, so I'm Sharonda from Scratch of Sweden. I'm the content strategist here in the United States. My family's brand, which was created by my cousin, Marie Houston, developed Scratch of Sweden when it was like... Mm, about 35 years ago she developed it so she focused more on nail care nail maintenance and hands so we focused a lot on like providing the best ingredients to make sure that your nails are being taken care of and literally like if you were say for instance you do gel nails a lot or you do acrylic nails and you want to switch from it so then what we'll do is introduce you to a new nail care routine using oils sesame jojoba lavender mirror literally straight oils that's going to repair and build your nails so we focus on nail care first and then we have the polishes all of our polishes are vegan so they literally are about as pure as they can come but they are really really pigmented you can do like a seven day or a ten day manicure and no chips and then of course after that take it off treat your nails and there you go but they're literally like the best thing ever and I have them on my feet right here on your feet. oh yes on my feet I love it so that's scratch of Sweden and now with me and Marie here she flew in from Sweden so we're here to um, be a part of the fashion week so yeah that is amazing you know I think that that is what is missed mainly is the the nail care yes it might look pretty on the outside it might look fashionable but what's going on underneath um, what's going on when you constantly go and get those fill-ins and that acrylic and that gel so the fact that you said nail care is very important so the the vegan um, oil and the polishes uh, those you can get those services while you're there so while you're there in Sweden we don't have any like nail salons here in the United States but I do offer polish parties. I like to call them paint them pretty polish oh, parties. Okay. So what you do is you get a group of your girlfriends or whoever together, okay. and then I come over with all the products, and I show you how to properly take care of your nails. So we're gonna show you how to file them, how to push back your cuticles, because you never want to cut them, because you leave it open to infection if you do. Okay. And then show you how to apply the polishes the right way, literally down the middle, down the sides, wow. and that's it. So that's what we offer here in the United States with me. But in Sweden, there's nail salons as well. You can also find out where the salons are located when you go on scratchofsweden.com. Okay. So, yeah. okay, and the models today, we can expect to see some of your work and some of your expertise on some of the models? Yes. So we got a few of the models. Some of them came with their nails already done, but the ones who didn't, we took care of their nails, we filed them, we put our nail nail food oil on there, which is a top seller and nominated for awards. So we cured the nails, we treated them, and then we polished them. So you'll see a few of their fabulous hands with our polishes on. Wonderful, I can't wait to see those. So when you come to the house and you do um, like pamper parties, so to speak, for people, is it possible to purchase that oil? Yeah, I always make sure that I have products with me. So, like, if they like them, they're available for purchase. Wonderful. Well, so people know how to get in contact with you, uh, such as myself. Um, can you please give your information for the new fans in the audience? Definitely. So you can reach out to us, literally, scratchofsweden.com, and then you click your country, whether it's U.S. or Sweden. But to get in contact with me directly, you're going to email info at scratchofsweden.com, and I'll get all of the information, and I will reach out to you, and we'll get the product sent out. 
Well, thank you so much, and thank you for that amazing information. We definitely need to hear more and partake in more nail care. Make sure you... Don't you be naughty, 